everyone, I got a brand new movie review for you guys today, and today we're discussing Nicole Kidman's new film, Destroyer. Destroyer takes place in modern day LA, and this film is directed by Karen Kusama, and written by Phil Hay and Matt Manafried. Now, I wanted to say these names for one big reason, because they did make a film a couple years back, and that film is called The In Invitation. If you've never seen The Invitation, might I say, I think it's still on Netflix. Go search it out. It's one of those films that has a very sluggish pace to it, but by the end, my jaw was on the floor with some of the revelations that this film portrays. And with that said, I was looking forward to Destroyer because of the people behind the screen and because of the people in front of the camera where you got Nicole Kidman, you have Sebastian Stan, you have Toby Kebbell. I mean, this is a great cast. And again, it takes place in modern day LA. It's about a cop, a crime thriller investigation suit. And we haven't really gotten a crime cop film this year, which is kind of nice. And Destroyer kind of fills that void for me. Now, again, I'll be flat out honest. I'm a little bit disappointed in this film. Doesn't mean I didn't like this film. I still thought it was good, but I was expecting for this film to be great or even excellent. But I found the film to be good and to be fine in that fact. But one of the big portrayals and one of the big pros for this film is Nicole Kidman. I've been saying this for quite a while, especially within this year, is that Nicole Kidman's kind of find these nice little strides in the back half of her career lately where she takes on these roles that are very different to her, but it gives her the most stuff to chew on and most stuff to kind of do within this role and I will go as far as to say I think Destroyer is one of the best performances of this year and might as well be Nicole Kidman's best performance of her career and I really do mean that one of the reasons being is that she transforms into this character that she becomes there wasn't one point in time where I was like that's Nicole Kidman and it wasn't just because of the makeup and prosthetics but really it was looking at her and just how she embodies this character. If I didn't know she was in the film, I would have never known she was in it. And I think she did such a good job in this role, portraying this cop who just has lots of horrible things with her in her past that you do start to go throughout. But man, it was, it's unique, her performance. And I don't think a performance has been this chameleonized since Jake Gyllenhaal with a Nightcrawler, which is nice how that took place. Also in LA. But I think that's nice, and I love seeing these kind of L.A. crime thrillers. I think it kind of works for the feeling, and I like the tone of the whole film, and I like what Catherine Kusama did with the direction with this movie. It always kept me intrigued with what was going to go on, but that's one of also my minor gripes about the film. Even though I was intrigued about what was going on, I never felt invested. I never got gripped on, put your seatbelt on, you're in for this ride. And throughout the whole entire film, I was sitting there, I was like, all right, if this, something big happens at the end, this film's going to grab me and pull me in, just kind of like the invitation. And the whole film, I was waiting, and I was waiting, and I was waiting, and I was still intrigued, and certain things happened. I was like, that's cool, that's cool, this is awesome, let's keep going, hell, let's chug along. Okay, it's a little slow here, it's a little slow here. All right, let's go on, let's get past this subplot, let's get past this subplot. And it just never hit that thing where I was like, that's the moment. Don't get me wrong, there's some great moments in here, but this is very much more about a character study than more the story that's going on. And don't get me wrong, by the ending, I was like, oh, that's cool, because the story structure is actually very unorthodox. It's it's different. It flashes back here and there, and sometimes it gets a little bit confusing, but by the end, I was like, oh, that's, that's actually really cool that they did that. But again, it never grabbed me. Even though the direction was strong and the script was good, it just felt... The movie was slow, and I feel like there was more needed to it. There's a couple subplots in here that I feel like could have been a little bit written out. I think they do contain some good things about it, but I just never again was invested. I was intrigued, but never invested, and in the end, I found myself being a little bit disappointed. And Destroyer has one of the best performances of the year within Nicole Kidman, probably giving the best performance of her career, but going again, the direction strong, the script is strong at times but a little bit sluggish at the pacing and some of the subplots I feel like could have been completely written out and weren't needed for the overall arc of the story maybe for the overall arc of her character it's definitely an intriguing film it's a beautiful looking film with that some of the shots in here are outstandingly beautiful and again it does have a really haunting score and a great sound mixing and sound editing Came out of Destroyer a bit disappointed, especially coming off The Invitation. If you guys haven't seen The Invitation, please go search it out. But again, if you're intrigued to see The Destroyer, I do still recommend checking it out in theaters, especially if you want to see one of the best performances of this year. That is Nicole Kidman's performance in Destroyer. I don't think she'll be nominated. I feel like this film's going to go kind of under the radar with all the other big films coming out, but still, it's worth checking out, guys. So with all that said, I'm going to give Destroyer a C+. 
know what your guys thoughts are on the destroyer have you guys seen it have you not have you checked out the other film invitation that i was talking about earlier let's talk about it down below in the comments and guys also if you guys are new here and you guys want to check out some movies early go hit up sandwich on films also down below because that's how you guys can get into those you can also check out some movie news and even some movie reviews but guys of course until next time stay class we